Everyone, welcome to a follow-up video now of the EcoFlow Stream AC Pro and the Ultra. Now this is a do-it-yourself solar system that I'll be running through here with this follow-up video. My power savings from it, my experiences, I've got the smart meter now installed, which I couldn't do in the first video, and I'll even give you a very brief short little tour of the new studio here, which will be the headquarters for tech tablets and where I will be filming most of the videos in the future. So I'm in a village which is close to Denia, not far from home. I've got a small balcony here that I could actually put some solar panels down there on, but they only get the evening sun. And this area here, this balcony, gets quite a bit of sun. So from about 10 a.m. onwards up to around about 6 p.m. at the moment, it's going to be in the sun. And yes, I do have this, which is the ventilation towel that's going to put shadow and cast shadow onto some of the panels. And you will see that impact uh, later when I show you the stats. 450 watt rigid EcoFlow panels here. They are quality panels. Now the cabling that they did come with was not long enough for me to set this all up and plug them into the EcoFlow Stream Ultra. So I've run my own cables and I used a crimp tool with the connectors. So the MC4 connectors made that, plug them all in, and later I'm gonna tidy this up. I will probably get a little tube to uh, put all those cables within that and this is gonna be a little bit more tidier. But I'll show you where I do have now this Stream. Ultra. So it's located here in what is basically a little washroom. We've got the hot water cylinder. Unfortunately, the power cable I can't plug directly into the Stream Ultra here because the output, if you missed my first video that I ran through all of this, well, it's up to 2,300 watts from the AC plugs. There's two of them, but I have the washing machine plugged in that I can use with that. And it's up to 2,000 for our PV input. So solar input up to 2,000 watts. It's pretty impressive for a small machine, and the capacity of this is the 1.92 kilowatt hours. And I could plug in an additional unit, the AC Pro, but I have that indoors, which I'll show you in a second. So I've got the cables that go under the door. This is in a, a good location here, good spot, and it doesn't seem to get too hot in here because there's a little bit of breeze. There is there is some, some ventilation that this little room does have and, and under the door, so it's not gonna get too hot and of course you don't place this in direct sunlight. Now you're going to have to excuse the mess here, it's still work in progress. So this is going to be the studio where I will be filming and that is going to be the desk. I'll normally have a camera set up about here and I've got the white plain background, get a few props and whatnot in here and I have been painting, I've been regrouting the floor, doing tiled side skirts, painting doors. So there's been a lot going on in here so it's still not ready, I'm behind schedule. I wanted this all to be ready about two weeks ago. Uh, but it's taken a lot longer than I thought, but plenty of natural light, so it's gonna be a great spot here for the channel. And the sound isolation uh, panels here, they have to go in, I need to install those, so I can I can film from the couch, a more relaxed kind of style, film in front with the desk, with products in front of me, and even sometimes I do with this at home as I have the uh, TV right here, I film in front of that as just giving me more options on where I can film. So the Stream AC Pro can support solar input, so you have the bi-directional inverter, depending on what region you've got it set to. So the output from this is 800 watts that I have it set to for Spain, 800 with the Stream Ultra. And what I have plugged in is the router. So if the power goes down, the battery in the AC plugs, there's two of them there, could power the TV and the router. I just wanted the router so I can still have internet connection here, run things and and check on, say, security cameras and things. Now, if you're wondering about these, do they make any noise? Uh, that was one of the questions that popped up in the first video. So it's around about 30 decibels. It does not seem to have any cooling in this, and there's no vents on it. The only noise I do sometimes hear, if you go to the back of it, you can hear like a little bit of coil whine. If you're used to PCs or laptop coil whine, it's that, and it's not really that loud at all. Now, with them, of course, we've got those LFP cells, so 15-year lifespan, the 10-year warranty, 6,000 cycles, IP65, so dust and rain resistant, and you could have this outside, uh, but I have it plugged indoors here, as I said, so it's gonna run that router and the TV if need be. So it's great that I do have this running off the Stream AC Pro and the Stream AC Ultra, run this AC and with the solar generated that I can basically run all this stuff now for no additional cost. Now the units that I do have, so I've got 1.92 kilowatt hours with the Stream AC Pro and the Stream Ultra, but I can expand that. So I can go from 1.92 
right up to 11.52 kilowatt hours. You can just plug in additional units, six additional units. Right now, I'm just running the two. For this apartment and just me here, that is sufficient. So this is gonna be the studio room, which was the lounge. I'll give you a very quick tour here. I know this is not a home improvement channel, but these doors I painted and installed myself. They used to be this ugly brown color, like this door right here, the main door. So it's only a small apartment. It's just here for the channel needs for my filming. I kind of outgrown home, too many packages at home. It's a bit of a hassle. I have my two children at home and it makes it very difficult. So we have a small little bathroom here. I'm in the process of cleaning everything up, get everything ready. Uh, the side skirts painted all of that myself. And this room right here, excuse the mess, is going to be the editing room. So this is where I will possibly do, probably do some filming too as well. And this room, I need to soundproof it everywhere at the moment is an echo chamber. So I have my PC set up in here, overhead camera probably for the overhead shots. Here we have the, the master bedroom. So that's just the, the other bedroom, the spare bedroom. And this still work in progress. There is a, a brand new bed that we got. So I do a lot of the home tech kind of review stuff, uh, the robot vacuums that I do cover will be tested in this apartment eventually. And out here, there's some possibilities for more solar too. I'll just show you this. So in the afternoon, this spot gets a lot of sun. Now EcoFlow does have a system where you can hook the solar panels with their supports over the handrails. But because I have the reinforced glass, you can see that it's the glass at the top, the handrails below and inside of it. It just didn't work for my particular setup here. So I've got that safety glass on the outside and I can't hook anything onto the top of that. So I have this whole balcony area that in the evening gets a lot of sun and I could really line up, I would say at least about four panels along here if the handrail was on the top and I could use that EcoFlow balcony mounting system. So that is the church tower right there of La Charda, the little um, village that I am in. So I got a good view of that. No doubt you're gonna see a few nighttime shots of this with my camera comparisons and whatnot. Okay, and then the smart meter. So the EcoFlow smart meter, this is a Shelly smart meter, EcoFlow meter. And I had to get an electrician to install this because it goes in right here where all the circuit breakers are. So that's it there. And now I've got the proper system. So what this does is it scales the output into the grid from the AC Pro and the Ultra to make sure that it's gonna cover the demand of the house. And this is real time monitoring of exactly that. Now this will give me zero feed into the grid as well. We're not wasting any energy. And before what I was doing is just outputting up to 800 watts continuously, but with the smart meter now, it'll scale that. So if the house is only using 30 watts, that is all it's gonna to output to the grid and it's much better and this is really gonna improve the efficiency and it has done so. And then the last part of the tour, very quick here because I know this is boring and this is the kitchen, which is a mess because currently it's the workshop where I've been painting and this is another area that I, I need to regrout and finish off, which I will eventually do and get that ready. So let's take a look at the app now. They have updated this and there's been a firmware update that just came through very recently for the Stream AC Pro and the Ultra. But you can see on first glance here, the important one is from the grid. I'm using nothing at the moment. Solar is 762 watts because of the time of day. There is some shadow now from the ventilation shaft being cast on two or three of the panels. So it's dropped down my output there. And that can't be helped really. So I'm using just 1.04 at the moment. I have AC on and it's discharging some of the battery. You can see the battery percent. There's the Stream Ultra and our Stream Pro. Now, most importantly is this, the EcoFlow Shelly Smart Meter that I finally installed with the help of an electrician. So this is gonna be scaling things on the fly live as it detects the consumption. So if I'm using say 80 watts, it'll only from the batteries output the 80 watts. And this is where it becomes a lot more efficient. So highly recommend that you do use that smart meter because if you don't have that, you'll just be outputting the 800 watts or whatever you, whatever you have it set to for your region. Now you can see other information about it. So I just click on here. I can see that the grid connection port is currently outputting at 609 watts. That'll cap out at 800 watts. But again, it all depends on the smart meter as well. 
on how it's going to be scaling that or if it's charging batteries. You can see that the solar panels there, panel number one, that's definitely in the shade quite a bit now. And panel number two, a little bit of shade there. And three and four doing okay at the moment. The estimated charge time remaining. And you can see that information. So the Ultra, of course, has the solar panels connected up as I showed you. And our AC Pro at the moment is not really running anything, but it is charging or outputting, should I say, uh, 441 watts at the moment. So it is discharging and you'll get the stats there on the remaining time. Now, because here in the attic studio, I don't live there, the consumption is going to be quite low for this, but I will show you what I have been able to generate so far with these solar panels. So if I click on this little tab here, I can see that today, 4.4 kilowatt hours, and this is at this time of the day, a little bit less because I'm making the video. I ended up unplugging systems. It'll tell you where the energy flow goes. Now I've got a month's worth of stats in here too because I've been using it uh, a little bit on and off because I moved the whole system from my house from the first video to the permanent setup now in the attic. So you can see that the power's flowing to cover the use of my AC that I'm currently running in the house power and the battery charging the battery and some, a little bit has gone to the grid. And I can see stats there from, for example, the 30th and the 31st, this is a good day. So seven, almost eight, in fact, kilowatt hours of production, better day. Of course, if there's some cloud, heavy cloud, a storm, and it's gonna drop down and won't be quite as good. And you better see those stats there. Now, sending back to the grid, if you happen to have a solar tariff and you can sell to your power company, then once the batteries are fully charged, then you're able to send that excess to go back to the grid and sell it to them. Or you can even send it through to some of the smart plugs if you want to put that power into say, maybe heating up uh, your water, hot water with a boiler. Now I can see the weekly stats. So I better to go over to the other week. There we go. 46 kilowatt hours the month. Uh, so far, well, September's only just begun, so better to look at August there. So proof that I've been running it for as long as possible just to give you this long-term feedback review on the whole system. But let's get over some to something really important now and is how much is it going to save me and how long will it take to pay off the whole system? The power company that I use is called Octopus and this is their app to show the exact power consumption that I'm currently using in the apartment, just myself. I don't live there, so there is no nighttime consumption. There is no water boiler, no ovens, microwaves being used, and no AC during the night. Only during the day, from typically around 10 a.m., 9 a.m. or so, to 6 p.m. And the use was 25 kilowatt hours in this test week without the EcoFlow stream, do-it-yourself solar system. This week here, however, not on the Monday, because I wanted side-by-side -side days just to show this stat, and it thankfully worked out good, that I used 6.4 kilowatt hours, plugged in, and used the EcoFlow stream system. You can see almost half right there, straight away, my savings. But the batteries were empty, almost empty. They had only about 20% in them. They didn't fully charge, and they weren't charged. And a lot of that energy was still going into the batteries as well as the AC unit and powering the house with the grid and the smart meter. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, huge savings. The batteries were almost full because at nighttime I've only got the router that it's powering. So consumption is 30 watts all night continually. That's it, 30 to 40 watts, absolutely nothing. So the batteries are full to start with. The solar doesn't have much to charge the batteries of the AC Pro and Ultra really, really good. So the savings is I'm halving my power bill. And from what I've calculated, I'm looking at a saving of about 40. I decided to best case scenario around 35 euros, but let's just round it up to 40. Okay. Because later on, maybe I'm going to be there more hours, use a bit more power. So it's a more round figure too as well. Per year, 480 euros will be my savings. That's pretty good, right? Not bad at all. So how long will it take me to pay the whole system off then? So I'll just show you that currently at the time of this video, the EcoFlow Stream Ultra, the AC Pro, and the four rigid panels I have, have a total price in Spain here where I live of 2,400 euros. Now you can source cheaper solar panels. You can get it a little bit cheaper the whole system if you already have your own panels. 
But let's just take it at their rate, their panels, everything I'm showing in this video that by the way, was supplied by EcoFlow. Thank you very much, EcoFlow. So we're looking here at five years, all right? A little bit longer than I'd hoped, but it is gonna take at the time of this video with my current consumption and everything, and a best case scenario, five years to pay the whole system off. Now remember, this is gonna last for 6,000 cycles, uh, the warranties for 10 years, and a working life, those LFP cells, of about 15 years. So you've got it paid off in five and hopefully goes for another 10 years. As you can see, use case for me at least, I'm saving half on my Powerball, which is fantastic. Eventually they will pay themselves off. So running AC, lighting in here while I'm working in the new attic in the new studio slash office, I am really using nothing because it's generating, I've seen peaks of up to almost 1.4 kilowatt hours generated by those panels. Remember that the Stream Ultra, it does accept up to 2000 watts with our solar input. However, if you have a microinverted 800 watts, because it is bi-directional, those AC plugs they are, you can plug that in and you can get up to 2800 solar input and then scalable, as I pointed out, up to 11.52 kilowatt hours. If I was to run up to six of these and have them plugged in throughout the apartment here. So there is a lot of savings there. And as I've pointed out in this video, that it is not a scam. It is legit. It saves you money. And the best thing I did here was install that smart meter. So having the Shelly EcoFlow Shelly smart meter, that means it's now scaling according to the demand of what is going into the grid so that 800 watts can go in maximum because I'm located in Spain. Other regions, they do allow up to 1200 watts. And with the EcoFlow Stream do-it-yourself solar system, they have a 10-year warranty. The cells are good for up to 15 years, LFP cells, and they are good for around 6,000 cycles. So long-term, this is a quality product that should last a very long time, pay itself off, and eventually you have free power during certain times. Now, if of course I was in a different kind of setup, a household that maybe had a hot water boiler, you had an oven, a stove, then of course it's not gonna be able to meet those demands if I was running all of my air conditioning in this place either, but it will still be reducing that load by 800 watts as it's putting that into the grid. So that's my follow-up video a month later with the EcoFlow Stream Ultra and the Stream AC Pro. Thank you so much for watching this video and my little mini tour here of the new setup, which will be the future of the channel, will all be eventually filmed here and then some stuff around, of course, dinner and at home.